Uh, par four. Um, man, this is going to be an interesting topic to talk about. I think you, you probably heard on the news that Apple and Google, specifically Android, they, <laughs> they're illegal monopoly, right? So why, why are they illegal monopoly? Well, let's talk about it, okay? So in modern world, right, everybody have a smartphone, right? If you don't have a smartphone, um, I don't know. Everybody have a smartphone in 21st century um, business. You even need a smartphone to do business. Smartphone is an integral part of our society and is owned by two corporations. One is Google, one is Apple. Uh, particularly Apple is one that is extremely, I mean, they're both horrible. Um, like, you know, they get to determine what kind of app, what kind of application people, a country gets to have, right? The world gets to have, if you think about it, that's how much power they technically have, right? Um, they can say, hey, there's no porn app, like Pornhub, right? Then you're not, then Pornhub is not allowed to be on there. Um, and they try and try, and they couldn't get on. But that, I, I think that's acceptable if they, they treat it equally, right? If they treat all competitors equally, for example, it, if they don't like porn, ban Pornhub. But you also have to ban Reddit. You know why? Reddit also have porn. You also have to ban, what is it? X, right? X have nudity, right? Now they allow nudity, right? Then who else do you have? OnlyFans, OnlyFans app, right? Right, am I right? So why are they, who is determining what sort of adult content should be allowed for worldwide audience? Modern day, I gotta say, app is just as important as website. But unlike website, website is for the people. But app is not because corporation gets to decide who they want to put. It's like uh, Epic Games, right? Payment system, because they're charging over 32% for payment processing. Yeah, let's go back to, you know, the. If you miss, look at part one, right? The bank, the, the, <laughs> how corporate America bank fuck small businesses. But Apple and Google is doing worse. Bank charge 2%. They charge 33%. Think about it. Okay. And you are required, especially in Apple, you are required to download the app through Apple Store, else you're not even allowed. Even in Europe, the new regulation where the law forces Apple to unlock their App Store, to literally require Apple developer, you had to pay them $99, year, uh, $99 per year, and also you need two years, whatever, good, whatever, fucking trust, that, that like you had to be, have a good social score on Google fucking Apple developer. And what the fuck kind of joke is that? Europe literally created law against Apple. And all they did is nothing. Do you something else to circulate the law? So the law fucking doesn't exist, according to Apple. But one thing I'd particularly love to talk about today is regarding 18 plus AI app. Okay. So for Apple and Google specifically, they don't allow 18 plus AI app of any sort, right? That's their policy. And, but the same picture comes in again. They will enforce a rule on, for example, they will enforce a rule against Pornhub, but they wouldn't enforce any rule against Reddit. Even though Reddit, over half of Reddit is full of porn. Okay, they don't tell you the statistic, but the fact, a lot of people use Reddit for porn, okay? If you don't know, 
well, it is. You can look deeper into it, but porn subreddit is huge. It's massive on Reddit. More engagement than ever, right? And they're allowed. So, I mean, let's look at this. Okay. This is Apple Store as of right now, which is June 8, 2024. And guess what? They are not enforcing for some apps for whatever the fucking reason. Why am I talking about this? Right? Look at this app. Look at this AI girlfriend. This, all these, are, obviously, when you look at it, it's immediately 18 plus. So obvious, right? And it literally says 18 plus right here. And then over here is they label 17 plus, but who the fuck? Why aren't they checking? There must be something wrong with their regulation. And this app being out for a long time. Fuck. For months and months. I would I would assume this app's been around. Fuck. Months, half a year. And meanwhile, let's look at our app, okay? We were removed from Apple Store and Google Store with no appeal. We tried to appeal over and over, adding filter over and over. Guess what? Our app being online since last year for a good part of nine months. We are the first app for AI Companion, uncensored AI Companion. And yeah, it's nothing. Our app is less, is 17 plus. There's nothing fucking, there's not even a girl on it. Apple removed our app saying that, you know, it needs to be, it, it's 18 plus because it's uncensored. <laughs> Even though we start adding filter after filter, they wouldn't appeal it. They would not even answer anything. Our email ignore everything they ignore, except Google, they, which they actually reply. But Apple, they don't, they don't even reply, right? They are shutting you off from the global, global marketplace, basically. If, if Apple were to remove Amazon's app, like it can bankrupt the company. You, it can bankrupt a corporation, but they would never do that. For what, I don't know what kind of corporation that they do, but any other thing is that why aren't they enforcing the law, the rule equally? Think about it. There must be something fucking fishing going on. I don't know. Maybe their own shares. They're I don't know what the fuck because. By allowing certain competitor into that. And the other thing is that this app is all scam apps. They provide shit service and you had to pay fucking, I don't, look it up. You got, there's so many of these apps in app purchases. Yeah, of course. How, and, <laughs> And the other thing about the marketplace is that these app, if you do the research, you will see they're all trash apps. They don't deliver what you promise. It's false advertisement. But for whatever reason, Apple is allowing this. It's, and it's been around for a long time. Why is that? It's so obviously 18 plus. It's so into, so obvious. For us, but let's not talk about us. Okay. Let's talk about the fairness of the competition, right? How is Apple allowing some, do they get to pick who wins? Which are the winners? Which are the losers? Who gives them the power to determine to have such a great control? And the other thing is that app development, it takes 
hundreds of thousands of dollars to design an app for Apple and Google. It's a huge amount of money for small businesses, huge amount of investments. And they get to de determine which one to wipe, which one to win. It's almost like, imagine electricity. Everybody needs electricity, just like everybody needs cell phone nowadays. I think cell phones may be more important than fucking water sometimes. But water supply, because you can always shower elsewhere. You can't live with your phone because you're so connected in 21st century. You need it. Everybody needs it. You have to survive. And a company gets to decide to take it away. So <laughs> think about it. How would you feel? How would you feel? Do you think it's a fair system? Do you think it's a healthy um, country overall? Think about it. Everybody, including the president, everybody is from. That's a huge, significant part of our life. And somebody, a private corporation can get to decide. And, but I kind of understand. They're the one that, you know, they created um, apps. But how about this? Let me give you an example. If I'm the one who created a gun, does that give me the power to go out and shoot people? Just because I'm the first one in the world to have a gun. I have the power. Does that give me the moral right to use that power to go out and inflict control? I'm, I'm sure um, some people can argue otherwise. Um, but man, I don't think it's healthy. No matter how you think about it. Technically, corporate control, like you can say, when and take all is a healthy system, but not really. Not really. How much control should they have? Should they have the ability to control, to shut off your phone and kill your phone remotely if they feel like it? What? Technically, they could. But anyways, they don't get value from doing that, but they do have a lot of value from doing this. If they can select the winner, they can control which wins, which are the winner, which is equivalent to money. They get to decide which app that you get to use for calculator, for girlfriend, for AI, for video. There's so much money and they can control all of that. That just sounds fucking crazy to me. Maybe most people are not app developers. Um, it wouldn't, like, it, 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 it's not an easy concept to understand sometimes. It's like the iMessage, the blue bubble and green bubble. It just make like even though it's just a color thing, that still inflicts so much damage to Android. If you look at some research regarding to it, like to the point that people think people with the blue tags are scammers, basically. It, it hurts the business, right? Unless you use fucking iPhone. iMessage, right? Is I can only see corporate control getting worse and worse and worse unless there's a significant change to it. I think humanity, I think within next, next about 50 years, it, unless there's a significant amount of change, I think corporate should own at 0.1 of the population will own the 99.9% .9 of the population unless it changes because all these little things, it stack up. It's like a pyramid. Corporate is on, on top. Bank that charges you 3%, right? Google that charges you 33%. DoorDash and stuff, they charge you 50%. Uber, Airbnb, they charge so much fees, right? They're on top. They get some big money, right? Your monthly subscriptions, that's all, all the money are going to the top. They're not trickling down. So all the money is upflowing. Upflowing, upflowing. They don't pay taxes. And who is paying tax? The bottom. And the gov the, the bottom pays taxes to government and the government gives tax break to the top. So it's never so all the money is upflowing. They're not really downflowing. 
And the corporate control is so fucking strong in every aspect, right? We talk about the bank in previous video, right? We talk about T-Mobile, how to control information, right? And then we talk about, what is it? <laughs> bank, T-Mobile, taxes, right? Three, three things. And even the apps, the, the, like next, I think right now, trading websites, trading website, right? You can have a website that's not controlled. Everybody can have a website, but now there's now this website are mostly controlled by Google. Everybody Google Google uh, on I on Apple. You can't find a website. You have to go to Google then go to the website. It's really difficult to find a website. You have to hop through Google every single time. And Google gets to just decide who is on the top. You pay money or you don't. That's how they make their money. So all the like. I don't think anything is for the people anymore. So sad. They just feel individual. Talking about CEO, shareholders of big corporations. Select, I would say the inner circle is about a thousand to five thousand people. I think it's only gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. And these people determine what app. They pick, even they ban certain, even they have certain rules, they don't enforce it. Unfair competition. It's a piece of shit. It's a definition of monopoly abuse. The very core definition of monopoly abuse. At this point, for, for me, right? For our app, right? We lost so much money beyond your imagination. Over this, our competitor gets to have it. We don't. Um, I can acquire a river, but I don't. My goal is to inform everybody um, how corrupt the system is overall. Honestly, at this point, I don't think the government is corrupt. I think corporate control is too corrupt. Because they have so much money, po money equal power, and power by you positioning government. I do think government, the U.S. government system, can be beneficial. Um, because the government is inherently, like me a little bit, they're in inherently to have some justice in mind. Um, but corporate is different. Corporate is all about marketing, about power, about fucking survival. You don't about money. There is nothing in business but money. Everybody knows it. It's just money. All right. And these companies, Apple and Google, they, they don't have moral standing. They allow apps like this. They allow Reddit to have all sort of fucking porn. But they will ban others because they're not as big. They don't have car production. Oh, yeah, talking about Google just signed a contract with Reddit for, what is it, hundreds of millions of dollars for AI training. You think Reddit, they're going to ban Reddit? Fuck no. There's so much interconnection. They only work with big players, and they fuck little players. And, uh, yeah, think about it. Do you want to support local small businesses, or do you want to support... Big corporation doesn't give a flying fuck who is more than willing to leave America. They don't have, okay, they don't have royalty. They don't have loyalty for shit. Apple, they're not even headquartered. They're not even founded in the US. Their registration and everything in Europe. Tax haven. Tax, 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 money, 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 money. Um, you may say it's the right way to do business, right? But it's not healthy. It's the system needs to change. More people need to get educated on this. Promote fair competition. Promote it. I think US should take some note from China where they will shut down big tech. The government is above big tech. 
because the big tech would not give a flying fuck. They would do everything it takes to make money for themselves. And they don't care about the consequences. This can get into a very, very long discussion. Um, but do think about it. Um. <laughs> think about why. Why, 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 why? Yeah. What an amazing world we, we live in. Sometimes, honestly, I wish I'm not the one that having to stand. I just want to be a normal person, right? Just research philosophy, trying to find meaning of life, trying to do what I love, right? Have some tea, relax, right? But every day, like, when I encounter issues like this, it just makes me saddening that um, I want fairness. Not just for me. I don't care for myself. I care about the overall humanity. For me, I just want to be a poor philosopher that, you know, um, I don't I'm, I don't really give too much shit about materialistic shit. Um, I just want to fuck, research a meaning in life, fucking, and die. Pretty much. I mean, I don't have too much fucking hope. Oh, but, <clears throat> but man, fuck, this is ridiculous, ridiculous, man, unjust, such an unjust system, look at this shit, fucking 18 plus, what the fuck, sexy, AI? come on, you enforce your fucking policy, if you're not gonna, look at all these fucking apps, Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But yeah. This concludes the topic. <laughs>